I'm thinking the bigger, no? Four or the six? Let me see. I think four. What do you think? Four? Yeah. I think six will be too much. Yeah, I think six is too much. Okay, so here's our plan and what we are oh, attempting to do. These windows are making it hard to see. So I wanna have Manny frame out the windows cause I feel like it would just make them pop more and give them a more custom look. Cause right now I feel like the window, it just kind of gets lost. So he's gonna measure right now to add trim all around the window. And then we're also gonna do these windows as well. But I wanna start here in the main area um, just because this is where we spend the most time and where everybody comes and hangs out. I'm also thinking about adding a um, a bamboo shade to come down only because we have so much white going on with the white couch, the white curtains, the white blinds. I wanted something to kind of break it up a little bit. And I did see an account on Instagram. I don't remember her name, um, but she had white blinds and then she put a bamboo shade over it just to give it some contrast. And it actually looked really cute so I want to try it we'll see so right now he's getting measurements so we can figure it out and this one's just doing what he does best naps all day naps so you want to explain, explain what? what are you doing I'm measuring I'm measuring the window and I'm adding four inches on both sides because that's what we're going to use. So what is it considered? Like a four by four or what? No. Four so by it's two a, it's or? A one by, so it's a one by four by whatever feet you need, basically. That's what you're using. Okay. It's going to be four inches wide, one by, it's going to be a one inch thick. And that's what we call it. It's usually a lot smaller. So we're gonna need, you know, we're gonna need four feet, four feet. So that's one. And You're just doing around the window, right? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So one, eight, two, eight. Three, eight, five, six. And then six, eight by four by one. And then this one we need two. Now we are doing we're keeping this, right? Well, I, I don't know because you're not giving me an answer as to will it rip the walls or not. Okay, so you don't want the lip anymore. You want the... Well, I just like how it looks when it's just clean and flat. It looks like more modern and updated okay. without all the curves and all of that. But right, if it's going to rip the wall, then we can leave it and just add a piece to the bottom of it. No, we can, uh, we can turn it too. Well, because that's what I was asking you. Was it going to mess up the wall and you couldn't tell me? Well, I don't know until I, until I tear into it, Jen. Uh, how can I tell you something I don't know until I actually... Well, then I don't know if I want it or not if you can't tell me if it's going to rip it or not. We will not know until I start taking it out, Jen. But then isn't it too late because then you've just jacked up the windows and there's no coming back? Welcome to construction. Yeah, a knife. Okay. How did they put between the paint or not? And why are you doing that? So when we actually start breaking into the the wood, you don't peel off the, the paint with it. I'm asking so people are wondering why. Yeah. Can you please move my pillows? Uh, I can't reach. Oh, that's right, because you got a yellow cup in your hand, that's why. A yellow cup? A yellow. A yellow cup. It's not jello, it's yellow. A yellow cup. That is yellow. Wow. It's not a jello, it's yellow. For the record, I have a jello pudding cup, and you, you just know, said jello pudding yellow. cup. I said yellow. Yellow.
picking up these boards, common boards. Yep. Okay, what else? That is it. No touching. No touching. They're all common boards? Huh? They're all different sizes. They're the same. They're the same width. It's just different sizes. Okay, so if somebody wants to do this at home and they have existing framing already, what do you suggest they do first to start? Oh, well, take out the molding from the bottom. From the bottom? Yeah, first you, you go around it with the knife. Mm -hmm. See, as you can see, the, the caulking that you use. Let me zoom in, hold on. Okay. You see, that's the caulking that you use. So when you try to pull this out, it's gonna pull out the paint. So what you're trying to do is keep it from ripping. Okay. So you use a knife and you just go around it. And then you start to get yourself a... What is that called? Crowbar. Crowbar. Okay. A wonder bar. Now, the reason we're removing this is just because I just want a more sleek, like, modern look. Um, and... I was bored. <laughs> you are such a... <laughs> Woo! I love you. I just love you so much. What are you... Just kind of get the uh, this perfection out, so when you paint it, everything looks flat. Just the sides or the whole thing? No, it's just so the sides are show. There's just the sides in the front. Actually, yeah, the sides in the front. Because um, there's no point in spending on expensive wood when all you gotta do is just sand it. I mean, just take a little time. It's still gonna look the same after you paint it. So, what kind of wood are you using? I'm using just regular lumber. Uh, how much were they? Five dollars and no, four dollars and thirty-two cents for the one by four by eight feet, compared to the ones that have that slick finish, mm -hmm. which is like eight something. So you're paying double for one. Oh, okay. Looks slicks. This one is not like touch it. So this is the sanded one. Yeah. And this is the unscented. You feel the grit? Yeah, it's rough. This one will give you splinters. <laughs> that, that's what you're paying for, basically. <laughs> Somebody should sit there while a machine to sand it down for you. Yeah. I'm gonna do is uh, I took the the board that's in inside and I uh, that's the first piece that I'm gonna put up now so what size board is that this right here well it, it varies and that's what the problem is like that one was uh was uh, four inches this one was four and three eighths okay all the houses are not made I mean I wouldn't say straight they make it straight enough 
So once you start putting your own board, you realize that they have shimmies around and even then it's not level. They just want to make sure that it looks level by eyesight. But if you actually put a, a level in it, sometimes they're, they're right, sometimes they're off. So, so you're noticing as you're taking these off and yeah. trying to put them back up that things are not yeah they're not not, not straight not straight straight they're straight enough but not straight straight like this is supposed to be so which is all right it's just it's clean the butt okay so I see that you're adding like the spacers underneath to make it level yeah so how are you gonna nail those to where it doesn't budge oh like so, if somebody else has to do this in their house oh so you always put the your nails between the uh, uh, the shimmies that you're putting up. Well, I'm saying because there's a gap, so how do you make it go in? You nail it where the shimmies are. Oh, all the way through. Yeah. All okay. The way through. So, are you, I'm gonna put a nail, two nails here, mm -hmm. two nails here, two nails there, two nails there, and that's it. That, like that, basically. Okay, so you're you using here, nails that yeah. are long enough to go all the way through. Yeah. So a nail gun, you can put up to a inch and a half. So. Okay. So just for argument's sake, because we're going over our windows. Uh -huh. Can you give me the measurements of the wood pieces you use for like this window? Since this one's already done. Oh, this one? Yeah. Okay, so like I said, the only one that you're going to have to make sure that you, you have the right one, it's going to be the one in here. And even then, to be honest with you, if you're about, say, a quarter of an inch off, you can always, you know, just use cotton if you don't have a, a table saw to cut it. Because that's what I did with this one. I just cut it to the size that I needed. But all these you can actually buy at Home Depot. So this is a, a one by four piece of wood. Mm -hmm. But you have to understand, even though it says it's a one by four, it's actually a... a it's a one by three and a half. But when you buy it, it says one by four. Yeah, when, yeah. Say, when you buy it, it says one by four. With the sticker in the back, well, I'll show you the sticker, but they all say one by four. So. So the sides one by, are one by four. Yeah. Okay. So one by four. And then this one here, you can buy a one by one. But I have a table saw, so I cut my own. But you can buy, like I said, one by four, one by ones, and then this one right here, you can do a one by six, which you will be at a five and a half. So it will give you a little space. Okay. And then I put a one by uh, one, one by, by one. one on top. And then the bottom one, that's a one by four as well? Yeah. Okay. So one by four, one by four, one by four, one by one, one by six, and then a one by one. Gotcha. So. Okay, now let's just say of this window, what do you think you spent on materials if someone wanted to do the same? I say about twenty three dollars for, for just this window. Yeah. Okay. Just for the window. So just to give you guys like a ballpark figure, of course everyone's window is different, but and what size is our window here? Can you measure it just to give them a reference? Sure. I want to say this is like a standard size window. To me, it looks like it. Anyways, we could be wrong. 34 and 3 eighths by 57 and 3 fourths. Okay, so for that size window, we spent about 23 bucks in wood. Yeah. Okay. And then, like I said, always remember whenever you, you buy wood and it says one by four, it's not actually four feet, it's always half an inch shorter. So if you buy a one by six, it's going to be five and a half. If you buy, you know, a one by eight, it's going to be seven and a half. Can you guys see what a difference it makes already? Like just the one window, huge, huge difference, especially because ours is like a kitchen nook um, and it's an open floor plan. I feel like it's just going to help the windows come forward so much more. And I have always had window balances, but now I don't really feel like I need them. So we'll see. Okay, so you can go on from there with the new window. Yeah, like I said, first things first, always make sure this one's, you put this one down and it's as level as possible, and then you go from there. And you put the piece down here, and then you go work your way up. 
So you recommend doing the bottom piece or doing always. the window seal first, yeah, the window then seal the bottom always piece? Always first. Okay. Because what's going to happen is if you actually do everything in, everything first and then you put the window seal in, if it's too low and it goes down, it's going to be hard for you to pick it up. Okay. So the window seal first, then the bottom piece. Then the bottom. Well, that's what I do. I do the window seal, then the bottom piece. And I always cut myself like little pieces here so I can measure to see. Kind of like a cheat sheet? Yeah. Like, I, I mean, I, I use a tape measure, but I'd rather bring the pieces a little bit long and then measure myself. Because sometimes you might miss something. So. I always use the, uh, that, uh, it's really good. Once it dries, it, it, it will hold. Wood glue. Wood glue. That way you don't have, that way the only thing that's not just holding is the, the nail. So this part right here, it actually goes down like that. You can't see it, but I can actually, look, see, it's flush here. And then it goes down like, so. What we're gonna fix this is, I'm gonna put this on the screw. Here. So you put the screws in so that you could lift them basically yeah. to make the board line up. Yeah, you just get them close enough where you can put a little, you can use it as a level, a lever. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you just take them back up. pieces to make sure that I cut it in perfect size. Once you have it all level and you put your bottom piece, then you put your one by four going up. What you can do is you're gonna try to cut as flush as possible here, but you'll realize that each side it's never gonna be perfect. And if it is then most likely it's gonna bow here which as you can see uh, so once you put your one by four here, your one by four there, and, and they're right on the edge, then you're gonna put your one by one. But what I did was I cut it uh, an inch uh, longer than the measurement, so it will stick out half an inch on each side. So once you have it here, what I do is I actually I'll nail it here first, and then I'll nail it over there, and then I try to basically move it around so it looks semi-square I mean semi uh, level then once this is up then you're going to take your other piece here that's bigger than a 1x4 this is a 1x5 and you're going to cut it the same size as here and there the side trim yeah the side trim and then you're going to basically put it here. Because you want the one by, what is that, a one by two? Yeah. So you want the one by two to stick out half an inch on either side? Yeah. Gotcha. So the, this is a one by two that's going to stick out half an inch. So whatever measurements you have from here to there, you add an extra inch. Then 
You put your uh, one by five right on top of it. Not where you can feel that the walls is bowing. We're definitely noticing that our walls are not even. <laughs> yeah. But that's that's every house. It's not doesn't mean your house is not made, right? It's just I mean a house once you build it and the years pass by, everything either swells up or shrinks or moves. And that's why we have so much uh, foundation problems. No, but, we don't. But you see like this right here, it's level. <coughs> this is level here. Yeah, that's level. This is not because when they make the window, this comes down a little bit. And that's just from years. So. so how do you make it line up? It's just, it's all an illusion, eye illusion. As long as you move a little bit down and a little bit up, you can still, you can make it work. I mean, if you don't care, to be honest with you, this doesn't really matter. We're both OCD of our stuff, so I don't want you to be pointing stuff out later. Now always remember on your window seals, your studs can be on this side. There's always one there. And then every 16. So there. Oh. Now you can hey, get a stud there's finder. There's something you can explain. So like let's say someone doesn't have a stud finder, why are you not gonna explain that? Oh, well you can see where it's hollow, like. Starts getting. You see? Mm -hmm. You can tell where it's hollow and where it's not. And you know how it gets deep? You go high pitch. So that's where the stud is? Yeah. So if you now, don't have a stud finder, you can. I'll do. recommend a stud finder. Yeah. Just because it makes your life a lot easier and you don't have to guess, especially if you're screwing. Um, let me go get it. The stud finder is a lot easier. So how much is a stud finder? You can find one at Home Depot for, I don't know, maybe $7, $12. Even if it was $15, this is, it's going to come in handy. Because anytime you want to put something up that's heavy and you need to find a stud, this is the way to do it. And it tells you where the electricity is. See so the stud there. So what you do is you come from one side, once that, you see that little arrow, you put a little line here and you come from this side and then you put a little arrow and that's where your two by four is. So you, you basically now right in the middle. Since I love the molding so much, I don't want to cover it. We're going to take curtains down so there won't be curtains in here anymore. Because if I put them up, it'll hide the pretty windows. Now in here, I am going to keep curtains but we're gonna switch it. So we'll just bring these out a little bit and we'll do smaller little rods. Cause these are really just for decoration. We don't actually close them, but I will keep them in here just cause it's the living room. Um, because this is like right next to this window, I just felt like it would look nicer if they were the same. This is the original molding here, the one with all the little wavies. And then this part here is actually a piece that we added to the door trim to make it wider to go with our larger baseboards. Um, because what was here before were super tiny and dated. And so we wanted to make them thicker to kind of blend. But now that we've done this over here, I just feel like it would look nicer if it was the same. So we're going to remove this and make it match. Aren't you so excited? Okie dokie. <laughs>
premium molding. Uh... Let me see. So here's what it looks like. You can purchase this at Home Depot. I'm sure Lowe's has it too. Yeah. And so this is supposed to be like water resistant, fast drying. Yeah. You can paint right over it and it won't be shiny. Mm -hmm. And it's white. So if you're painting white, it's, it's good. Okay. So you're going to do what with it now? So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a cleaner's putty, which comes in a little bucket. And it's this. It looks like clay. Play though. Sorry. But it comes in a bucket. He yeah, just well, took it out. It's just a little one. I'm filling out the, the nail holes. Okay. You use like a teeny tiny amount. Yeah, I use some of my thumb and then I, I move it around so it'll cover everything. Okay. the shades that we got this is the blackout option if that's something you want they do come in white they have a gray color they also have a darker gray like more of a blue charcoal color and then these are the exact same ones but these are just the standard uh they're not blackout so there's the price just depending on the sizes you need so now that we have the framing put up everything's painted the shades are put up I still want to have my curtains here, but just they're just decoration. I'm not planning on closing them. And I don't want to have a huge rod up here taking away from the framing. So what I'm going to have Manny do is actually just cut me like a small little rod here on either side. Just to hang the drapes and have it frame the window. And they're just for decoration. Picked up this wooden dowel from Lowe's. It was around, what, 5 or $6? Uh, 3 dollars I think. Okay, so I'm going to have him cut it and paint it black. And then these are the endings to the um, the rods that we already had before. So I'm going to use these because I don't want to waste them. Yeah. And I'm just going to have them screw those into the ends so they'll be black. It'll basically look like a miniature version of what we had up here before. And then we'll just have the drapes on either side just to finish it off. Yo, yo. I'm finishing up this video and I just wanted to come on real quick and just say that I hope that you and your family are safe and that you are well. I know right now everything is very stressful. It's very tense with everything going on in the world. And I hope that this video was just a brief little escape for you just to take your mind off of things. I know for me, it's stressful watching the news and getting updates after updates. And it's it's a scary time right now, but it's something that we're all in together. And so I, like I said, I, I hope this was just a little bit of a distraction for you. We are going to continue to put videos out just to try to help with that. I know for me, it helps to to put my mind on something else. So if we can be that for you, I, I hope that we can be. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. I'm on there every single day chit chatting with you guys trying to come up with something positive in all of this as much as I can. And we will chit chat with y'all on the next video. Bye.